What up, what up, Winbush here. And if you're inside an Unreal Engine and you wanna be able to add gradients to your background, much like what you're seeing right here, it's really easy to do. Let me show you how. So you wanna make sure that you're using the motion design tools whenever you start up your project. And then once you're inside an Unreal Engine, you wanna come over here on the left-hand side where you have your shapes and you wanna double click on rectangle. Now inside of your viewport, you're gonna see a rectangle. And then if you come down here into the bottom corner where it says align the actors, you wanna left click on this make sure you have screen clicked on. Then down here in the bottom right, you wanna click on this square icon. Now this is gonna make sure that you have a full background in your scene here. And then over here inside of your details panel, if you come down here to materials and where it says material style, instead of solid, you wanna come down here and add a linear gradient. So from here, it's really easy to change out the color. So right underneath where we have linear gradient, we're gonna click on primary color and we're just gonna change it to maybe like this blue color. And then for secondary color, we could just come over and change this one to like a purplish. And now right here, where it says gradient offset, if we start moving this, you can see how we can offset it within our viewport. And the nice thing about this feature, you can control this all in real time. So if I'm down here, let's say I wanna change out this primary color to like a green background, this is still plain, and we're able to change it out. And then down here, where it says rotation, we can rotate our gradient as well. So you can just come down here and play around with the attributes until you find something that you like. So if you want more tutorials like this, make sure you go to my profile where I have a ton of quick tips and also shout out to EJ for the inspiration on this. And also shout out to Fresh Brownie who did the motion capture for this.